Hi, hello, welcome. My name is Shelley, and today I'm going to do the Not a Booktube newbie tag. So, Shelley, you look exactly like you did in the last video. Well, that's because I'm filming them back to back. <laughs> the magic of filming and upload schedules. We have a we have a cat here. So this tag might be more like my kind of thing to do now. So why am I doing both tags, you ask? Because I can. <laughs> because I can, basically. And uh, why not? Why not? Let's just, let's just do all the tags that's basically the same thing over and over again. It's not really, but yeah. So let's just get into the tag, shall we? Question number one. How old is your channel? Well, I'm glad you asked. My channel is one years old on October 31st, on Halloween. Question number two. What are your favourite videos to make? So my favourite kinds of videos to make are the ones that are easy to edit. <laughs> Silly question. <laughs> I've done my, what I've done so far is I've done a few tags here and there I've done I do the monthly wrap-ups and the kind of monthly TBR videos those are the easiest to edit by the way because it's just like chop, chop, chop. yeah what I would like to do is more like vloggy kinds of videos um, but I, I overthink things and I'm like, I don't go anywhere, I don't do anything that I can, you know, vlog. So, how do I vlog? And I know people do vlogs that are like, they don't actually move, they are in the exact same position throughout the whole video. Uh, and it's called a vlog anyway, but I, I, I don't know. I definitely overthink it and I would definitely like to figure out how I'm going to do vlogs but uh, one thing at a time they shall come I've done some, done some uh, but I would like to do more you know moving around kinds of vlogs question number three what is a piece of advice you would give to someone wanting to start a booktube channel do it just do it. Like I said in the booktube newbie tag, it was that I've been wanting to do this since like 2012, 2014, somewhere along those lines. And I've just, been, I mean, it's 2021 now when I'm doing this. It's, it's a long time to not do it. And all those years I've been like, oh, I want to do it, but I don't know how, and I don't know, I don't have the right stuff. You know, you don't actually need a bunch of fancy equipment. You need, don't need, um, like, you don't need expensive equipment. You can just use what you have. You can film on your phone. A lot of people just film on their phones, and that is nothing wrong with that. So, I mean, just use what you have and just do it, even if it's crap, because all first videos are going to be crap. Uh, it's all about, like, getting used to sitting in front of the camera and then actually listening to yourself if you're editing. You could do a video where you've not edited at all and just upload that. And like Louise Pentland, she didn't know how to edit videos when she first started. So her first videos are all non-edited. And I mean, look at her now. She's learned how to edit her videos now and all that. But... The first videos, not edited at all. They're just uploaded. So I mean, if she can do it, I'm looking at now. Catch my drift? Question number four. Since joining, have you run into any unforeseen challenges? As far as unforeseen, I don't think so. Not yet anyway. I mean, I kind of, I kind of knew going into it that I was going to be like, oh, I don't know what kind of videos to do and Am I going to be able to keep an upload schedule? I did not in the beginning and in the beginning of this year. I did not. I That was a challenge and I kept going, oh, I, I want to do it, but I didn't do it. It's all in the past now. 
Question number five. What is your favorite book series you read because of booktube? Now, this is quite a hard question to answer because more or less all the books I've read in the last couple of years have been because of booktube or because of bookstagram. So there's been a lot of books is kind of my answer. <laughs> Question number six. Overall, what is your favorite aspect of booktube? So my favorite thing is that we are able to connect with each other. We are able to connect with book lovers from across the globe because, yeah. In my real life, I don't actually know a lot of people that read and the ones that do don't read a lot. So I don't always have that, you know, being able to talk to someone about a book or whatever. I don't always have the means to like go to a friend and like talk, talk about a book. Um, I mean, I can, but they will just be like, I don't know what you're talking about and they won't actually give me feedback of said book or what they thought of the book because they quite possibly haven't read it. I like being able to connect with other people that more or less read as much or often more than I do. Question number seven is for spreading the booktube love. Give a shout out to at least one newbie. So here you go. Hello, my name is Liz, and you're watching For Booking Out Loud. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. Hello, I'm Lucy from Library of Lucy, and this is my September TBR. One, two, three, let's go! It's Avery from A Very Avid Reader. pulling a best dressed on you. And so I am sat in front of a very empty bookshelf because I am moving out. I'm moving out of the uni house that I've lived in for two years now. It's slightly crazy but that means that it is the end of June so it is time for a monthly wrap up. So here are all of the books that I read in June. And question number eight is who do you tag? And I tag all the people that you've just seen on screen. Yes. And anyone else watching this you are tagged as well. If you haven't already, do the video. Tell me down below that you've done it and I will go check out your video. Yes. And that was the not a booktube newbie tag. And yes, this this plant is not working. No. It shall go. So that was all for me today. Thank you so much for watching. Do all the things you know what to do and I shall see you all next time. Take care. Oh, bye-bye.